champion, Mauro Cesar Schaumann, who was two and a half seconds slower than this man in their qualification round in the earlier session, Edwin Fabian Martiz Ruiz. But anything can happen. Second race of the day, fatigue can set in. And when you're racing for a medal, two and a half seconds might not be that hard to chase down. So we have on the right, Matiz Ruiz, on the left, Shaman. In the C5 classification, 4,000 meter individual pursuit. Far side is the Brazilian, top of the screen. And look, the other factor being in a final like this is just how much the crowd gets behind you and can, well, propel you towards a superhuman performance, something you may not have otherwise been able to achieve. And the Brazilian has the early lead in this bronze medal write-off. There's plenty of noise in the velodrome at the moment. So we have the tail of the tape, a 23-year-old from uh, Colombia and Matiz Ruiz against a 29-year-old from Brazil in Sharman and after the first two laps it is the Brazilian leading but it's only 0.1 of a second. Well there's not much in this in the early stages but remembering it's a speed endurance event so we can't read too much into the early laps of course unless there was a huge deficit but uh, very evenly matched at the moment and now Matiz Ruiz the Colombian has just stepped in front. So having to keep his focus here Matiz Ruiz because he's got the local crowds cheering on his opponent. He leads by 0.2 of a second at the moment. So at the 1,000 metre mark, it was Matiz Ruiz 113.267, the Brazilian 113.551, so little in it, and it's still 0.2, so they're both holding their form at the moment. <laughs> Gee, it's close, look at that, it's, it's virtually nothing now. No, there is nothing in this race, and remembering we are still in the very, very early stages, not yet at the halfway mark, but 0.132, the Colombian has dropped behind again. So on paper, he was quicker. He was two seconds quicker in the qualifying round. And let's have a look here now. Sharman, he may have gone to the front here. I think he has, heading towards the halfway mark. Well, it's, it's fluctuating now. That's how close it is. You don't see that too often. We haven't seen it at all during the Paralympic Games so far. It's now fluctuating. And Matiz Ruiz just holds a margin over Sharman at the moment. Well, these athletes are literally drooling, drooling it out, dueling it out lap by lap. And as you say, the lead changing hands at each marker. And so it seems now the Colombian managing to stretch it now just to almost half a second. Can he hold it on? Well, this is where Sharman has to try and forget the pain because it's starting to slip away. The bronze medal's starting to slip away. It's out to 0 0.7. Matiz Ruiz's endurance is coming into play and it's almost up to a second now. So the Colombian all of a sudden finds himself in the box seat. At the 2,000 metre mark, Matiz Ruiz was 221.80. Sharman was 2. 222.2 so with 1500 meters to go we get another comparison and it's now out past a second well the colombian what a performance it is his first paralympic games it is the biggest stage for the track cycling for para track cycling and gee what's uh here the crowd they're willing the brazilian on but it does seem that that deficit is just growing and growing just ever so slightly it's not insurmountable yet but it is looking as though the Colombian has got one hand on that bronze medal. The venue announcer encouraging the crowd to get behind Sharman, the chance for Brazil, but it's just not enough at the moment. 1.7, he's hanging in tough, the Brazilian, but the Colombian's just a little bit too quick. And at the 3,000 metre mark, Matiz Ruiz was 330.52, Sharman was 332.23. So less than two seconds in it, but we get another update here. It's 2.277. So just extending that lead. It's starting to look as though the bronze may be out of Sharman's grasp. And, and he's losing his line to Sharman, as you saw there with the head-on shot. There's only two laps of the velodrome to go, and it's now out to three seconds. He's tired, the Brazilian, whereas Matiz Ruiz is keeping a better line and is going to see this out to claim the bronze medal. 
So there's the final bell. Geez, he'll be pleased to hear that. This will be hurting. This will be burning. But the Colombian has his hands in the on the bronze medal. Can he make it count? Can he finish off strongly? Well, he'd be hoping to beat his earlier time of 4.38.9, which he said in the qualifying round. It's going to be similar. So he's been consistent. He's the bronze medalist. And it is a fourth place for Lauro Cesar Sharman of Brazil. But what an entertaining bronze medal race it turned out to be. Overall, it was Matiz Ruiz 4.38.89, Sharman 4.43.25. I don't feel that time deficit really does the race justice because really for the first half of that race, they were so evenly matched. It was only really in the last kilometre and a half that things blew out in favour of the Colombian, really showing that he has managed to recover and back up well from the, the qualifying earlier on day three. And uh, a great performance from the Brazilian.